video tutorial of Magento Commerce. My name is Hans Kuipers from Jirio and with this tutorial I will show you how to inherit category images by subcategories. All you need is a running installation of Magento Commerce, an FTP connection and a text editor to edit the PHTML files. This tutorial is based on an enterprise version of Magento but we will also work on it for a community edition. Today we are working from this menu item furniture with its submenus living room and bedroom and I've created uh, for the purpose of this tutorial a sub sub menu master bedroom. If you click on furniture it leads to the catalog from the furniture with its category image. If the same goes for living room you can see the catalog image of that one and the same goes for bedroom. If you click on bedroom master bedroom you don't see the catalog image. Well, the catalog images are set via the backend of Magento. So go to there, go to Catalog, Categories, Manage Categories. Over here we in Furniture. Click on it to load its settings, Furniture, and you can see the category image over here. If you click in Living on Living Room, you can see the category image over there. If you click on bedroom, you can see the category image over there. Click on the plus to open it. And click on master bedroom, and you don't see a category image over there. Well, we can set an image using this choose file command button over there, but wouldn't it be nice if it can inherit the category image of the parent category so that it inherit the image of bedroom? Well, we think it would be nice, so we've created this option. In order to get this result, we have to do a couple of things. Find out what file to change, change the, that file in your own uh, template, and assign the template to your design. First, we're going to find out what file to change. Um, how do we do that? We go to System Configuration. bottom of the screen on this list click on, on developer. Over here change the current configuration scope to main site so you get more debug information and set template path hints to from no to yes. Save the configuration. Switch to the front end and reload this page. The same goes for furniture. Over here we are in master bedroom and we don't see any catalog image. In furniture we do see one and we can see by the information in this red bar that it's in front end enterprise default template catalog category view dot page TML. So we're going to change that one. Before we do that, we're going to set the template path hints back to no. and reload the page. Since I'm used to another browser I keep looking for reload over here. I switch to Coda. In the app directory I go to design, frontend, enterprise, default, template, catalog, category, view.phtml and open it. We have to copy this entire file to our own. So I've created one, Jirio, template, catalog, category, and now I create a new file which is called view.phtml. We're going to select all and copy this information to our newly created file. The only thing we have to change is this PHP code and I've prepared some. This code will be uh, on our website uh, so you can easily copy paste it. Paste it over there. Save that file. And now we've changed the view.phtml file. We switch back to our 
Magento installation and go to the backhand. There we're going to change the design from the default design, not the main store, but the default. And we set it to Jirio. Set the templates to Jirio and set the default to Enterprise. Save the configuration and view the results on the front end. Still the same image because we have furniture, bedroom, still this image, but in master bedroom we should see that image as well. And we do see that image. Master bedroom. Go back to bedroom. Still the same image. Well, that's it. In this video tutorial, I've changed the look and feel of the catalog view and placed it in my own design. So, your own image inherited by the catalog above, by its parent. So, you don't have to set um, every image to every catalog. Well, this was a video tutorial from Jirio. Visit our website at jirio.com for more tutorials. Have fun creating cool magenta web shops. Until next time.